Hi guys, DerpNerd here, coming at you with a barge landing video. Um, it's kind of unconventional, as you'll notice, my first stage is uh, looking kind of weird here, um, and it has parachutes on it, so uh, you'll get to see what that does in just a minute here. Um, also, the giant fins on the front of the craft, uh, those ended up being for stability. You're watching this at four times speed. Um, essentially, as soon as I started tipping over, without the uh, doing my gravity turn, rather, without the upper fins, the rocket would start to flip out of control and keep tilting the side. So I have a little fuel left in the one engine on that stage. We're going to get this into a suborbital trajectory with the high apoapsis. Um, and so the goal is, we're going to switch back to the main rocket and get him going a little higher. And this is the first stage. Now, I have some fuel and it actually ends up being ballast. And... Uh, I don't actually have a barge out there, even though there's a craft in the ocean from a previous launch. Uh, we're actually going to use these parachutes and land this. Uh, and so basically, our rocket is being the barge for our second stage. So our first stage is being the barge for our second stage. So I go ahead and I land that. I switch quickly back to the other second stage. And uh, I try and line it up as best I can as I'm coming in. I do quick save. It took me a lot of attempts. Uh, you'll notice a cut here, right here, and this was my final landing attempt. It took me like five or six attempts. So, uh, the main thing when I was doing this, also without laying legs, it's really hard, but the main thing when I was doing this was I was checking the surface retrograde indicator with the retrograde target indicator, the facing away from the target, and I do these correction burns to place my, my, uh, Basically, I'm changing my velocity, my prograde, to point directly at the barge. Um, I found the best way to do this was actually to end up right above the barge and to kill off all your horizontal velocity, so you just basically fall on it, even though it's really tough to kill off horizontal velocity due to relatively high gravity compared to places like the moon, Min Miss, or rather, Mun, maybe. Anyhow, so we're finally coming in, and... Uh, yeah, so I'll just let you watch for a second. I think I kill my velocity too much up here. Um, and, yep. Yeah, that that wasn't great. Yeah. Oh, up, oh. oh, up, 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 and horizontal velocity, and I do fall over. Um, I blame not having landing legs, so. <laughs> Very complicated. So now we're going to cut back to the first stage, or rather, the command pod, and we're just going to let that re-enter and recover it. Mind you, I did have to reload my quick save, so technically my booster didn't land in this universe because I don't have the uh, cool mod that does multiple stages. So that's that mission. That was pretty awesome, and uh, we're going to go into some outtakes. This is 16 times speed, so way off. Uh, this one was a lot closer. Uh, whoop. Yeah, flipped around a lot. I had excess fuel. I was a little surprised. I expected I needed more fuel. So, I mean, I'd use a lot of my correction burns. That one, I, I bang on hit it just uh, a little too fast. And uh, coming down. Oh, oh, that would have been beautiful, but even more destroyed my barge than the last try. Um... Nice source to weight ratio though. Just missed the barge. And uh, yeah, this one right next to it. Like f five meters maybe. That one I was going to miss, so I just reloaded. And uh, this one came pretty close, if I remember correctly. Yeah, very close. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.